Hello everyone. Uh, today we will discuss the last part of the selection, nested selection structure. Previously, you learned that you use the selection structure when you want the computer to make a decision, and then select the appropriate path, either the true path or the false path, based on the decision. Now you will learn that both path also can include another selection structures. The inner selection structures is referred to as a nested selection structure. If you see, uh, the outer selection structures always represent the primary decision. So if you see, this is the outer condition. What I mean, the first condition, also known as primary decision. Okay, when computer check through means okay while the inner okay or second condition also known as secondary decision structure always represent the secondary decision okay when check through means this first uh, statement will be executed first uh, we discuss nested if statement Okay, if you see in uh, nested if uh, decision making statement, an if statement is nested inside another if statement. Hence, this control structure is named nested if. Okay, first, if you see the first line E, followed by the first condition, outer condition. Okay, if through means, computer will check the second condition, inner condition. If true means, okay, the first statement will be executed. If you see the flowchart, if the uh, first condition out the condition true, computer will check the second condition, inner condition. If true means, then only the first statement will be executed. So you have to remember that the statement that uh, connected to the nested if statement is only executed when the condition outer true and the condition inner true. Then only the first statement will be executed. Second, we discuss uh, nested if else statement. Okay, before that, uh, in nested if-else decision-making statement, an if-else statement is nested inside an if statement. So hence, this program control structure is named nested if-else. Okay, for the pseudocode, this is the general format how you want to write the pseudocode. So first, we start with E. Followed by outer condition. Outer condition means the first condition. This is the first condition. If the first condition is false, if you see how this first condition is already false, so then the statement connected to the its else is what I mean here. If so, if false ready, so else lah connected connected to it else. Computer will execute statement 3. Remember, if the first condition is already false, so else statement 3 will be executed. But if uh, out the condition true, what I mean here, first condition true, second condition, inner condition also true, so statement 1, computer will execute. If you see, uh, the statement connected to the if of the nested if else only executed when the first condition, second condition true. But if the first condition true, second condition false, statement 2 will be executed. Okay, so now we see the flow chart. So first we have outer condition. What I mean here? First condition. So computer will check the first condition. If true means computer will check the second condition. Inner condition. True means statement one will be executed. Computer will execute the first statement. So I repeat again. Outer condition. First condition. 
Computer will check. True means. Computer will check the inner condition. Second condition. True means statement 1 will be executed. But if the inner condition falls, statement 2 will be executed. Okay? So if the first condition is already false, computer check false, statement 3 will be executed. Okay? So this one is for nested if else statement. Okay, this is the first example for nested if else statement question. Bhavini wants a program that calculates and displays a monthly bonus. It is known that the bonus is given when monthly sales amount reach 3,000 ringgit. If sales more than 6,000, Bhavini will receive 4% bonus of monthly sales. Otherwise, she receives 2% bonus of the monthly sale. So the first step you have to identify IPO. So for based on this question, the output monthly sales. Uh, input is already stated here sales amount because for calculate the monthly sales you need sales amount on the problem is this, input sales amount output monthly bonus so for process so you can write determine to calculate monthly bonus based on sales amount so this one is IPO second we discuss the pseudo code so as usual you start with start so this is the first line okay second line write the input read sales amount so based on the problem statement the input is sales amount okay for the first condition outer condition so this one is the first condition still remember okay bonus is given after monthly sales amount reach 3000 ringgit so if sales greater or equal to 3000 ringgit okay if the condition true computer will check the second condition inner condition lah if sales greater than 6000 okay for the question if sales more than 6000 bavini receive 4 percent bonus otherwise she received two percent bonus of monthly sales so if the first condition true, second condition also true, monthly bonus equal to 0 0.04 multiple with sales amount. In case if the first condition true but the second condition false, computer will execute this statement, the second statement. Monthly bonus equal to 2%. Okay, 2% we convert to decimal point, 0 0.02 multiple with sales amount. And if, okay, so this and if to terminate this if block. Remember, this and if for terminate this if block. Print monthly bonus. Okay, then you write this and if to terminate the outer if block. Okay, then stop. Okay, third we see the flow chart. Okay, first uh, start use the minor symbol or capsule shape. Then uh, read sales amount. Okay, so if the sales amount greater or equal to three thousand, yes. Or you can write uh, through through means sales amount greater six thousand. Through means or you can write yes. So. The monthly bonus equal to 0 0.04 multiple sales amount. If the second condition falls, so monthly amounts equal to 0 0.02 multiple sales amount. So, free bonus. Okay, then this arrow must touch. If the first falls ready, okay, this is all, no need to check. Okay, so direct to the stop. 
Okay, for the second question, the problem will display the price need to be paid by the customer. So based on this problem statement, the output price. Okay, this is the output because price need to be paid by the customer. So you just write price. So if you study this table, okay, code. We have code one and two. Okay, if code one means it more or equal to 25 means the weight kilogram 25 so the price will be 15 ringgit if less than 25 kilogram 10 ringgit but if the code is 2 code 2 more than uh, or equal to 25 kilogram 30 ringgit or less than 25 kilogram customer have to pay 20 but before the pseudo code you write the start followed by the input. It's a suitable verb like read, code, and wait. Okay, so if the code equal to one, okay, so computer will check the first condition if equal to one, if the outer condition true, computer will check the second condition, inner condition. So if weight greater or equal to 25, so price. 15 ringgit else price 10 ringgit so remember if the first condition true second condition true price 15 ringgit if second condition false computer check false so else price will be 10 ringgit so write the and if why you write this and if to terminate this if block if code equal to one false, computer will check else if code equal to two. If true means, computer will check the second condition. If weight greater or equal to 25, true means price equal to 30. Else, price equal to 20. So you must write an if. Because this one we want to terminate this if. Okay, then and if this and if will terminate this if block free price, then the last one is stop. Okay, to draw the flow chart as usual, use a suitable uh, symbol. Okay, for start, use a capsule shape or terminal symbol. Okay, read code and wait. This one use parallelogram shape, use copy and write. Okay, if you see the first condition, this one is the first condition, outer condition. So, code equal to 1, use the decision symbol. So, we just copy the condition and write inside the decision symbol. Okay, if true means, okay, computer will check the second condition. Second condition, weight greater than 25. True means, so the price will be 15 ringgit. So it saves one. So else false means second condition false ready. So else price equal to 10 ringgit. So here yeah, false. So 10 ringgit. Okay. So if the first condition false, the outer if false, so else if code equal to 2. And see here false. So computer will check the second condition or inner condition if true computer will check the condition the second condition so if weight greater or 25 true so the price will be 30 ringgit if false means else price 20 ringgit and make sure all the error connected okay so price 30 ringgit means okay free price so all error must be connected.